Hey guys, let's get started on the next ones. Um, we're actually going to do Haven. I, I eventually actually want to do, um, what's it called? Uh, Tychus' missions, but for now we're going to do, we're going to finish this one. My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. All right, let's get started. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ire are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. Okay, um... Now, people are asking which one I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do both of them, but the one I'm going to do in the end is actually purify the colony because of the, the Protoss research bonus. I prefer that much more. But I'm going to show you first First off, uh, this one, how it turns out. I ain't going to stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save them. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. I don't know, it just lagged for a second. Weird. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. I'm sure you will. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base, Ariel. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favors and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. Not actually as hard as it sounds. Uh, it's pretty good. You just have to uh, be sure to uh, repair the Vikings. Vikings, by the way, are amazing units. Uh, I'm going to be probably using them a fair bit within the campaign. Um, but besides that, um, they're going to be actually probably the first thing I do upgrade. Um, but for now, uh, we're going to just get this show on the road. And we got our first bike. I've located the Protoss Nexuses that are channeling power to the purifier shields. We'll have to destroy them before we can stop the purifier. Yeah, we can we can take this guy out. We're just gonna do it very slowly. I like it. Don't take too many risks. The colonists didn't make it to our base in time. We should be ready to assist them when the Protoss attack. No one lives forever. Alright. So we got a couple of them so far. Uh, we'll take like two SCVs out. And we'll just make two Vikings here. We have enough gas for a couple. 
and I'm just gonna put one SCV on that for now, just to um, make make the gas that I'm losing technically. But basically, our our bottom line here is that we kind of want to get a couple of uh, guys to start, and then we'll just make some more later. We're gonna make this guy go here, and we can also go and. Uh, the purifier has arrived and is on the move. And there's your purifier. Let's Fun guy. Into the fight. Victory. All right, five Victory. is enough to go take this one down. <laughs> At least, like yes, most of this indeed. stuff. There you go. See, I'm getting most of this. They have like an observer in the air or something. I don't even know what they have. And now we have enough for all these marines. Why can't this bunker hold all these marines? <laughs> Alright, and we gotta keep pumping out some SCVs. The purifier's coming into range of a colony base. Yeah, well, it's just gonna nuke it. It's not a big deal. You need to stop killing that that one. That one's a fun one. Alright, and we'll go here and we'll take out the rest of them. And that's gonna be okay. Don't worry about that. Uh, get it like that. Okay. We're good to go. And we can just take out that that one like that. Very easy stuff. I'll just stim them all. And there you go. Already done. One Nexus down. Keep at it, boys. We gotta stop that ship. Alright, we gotta make sure that SCV actually repairs uh, what we're looking at right now. That one guy. Sir, I'm detecting a massive energy spike. The purifier is about to fire. There's nothing we can do for that base, it's already been evacuated, we don't have to care. It's basically just an introduction. Oh, wait, we'll see this. Okay, it's all burning. It's burning anything. Planet Cracker charging. Vulnerability shield. Let's get into the fight. Ah, All right, news. more CVs on resources gathering. Uh, actually, no. Let's just uh, get two more out. And I think we're gonna have to start investing no, into. Commander. Nah, not yet. The Protoss squadron is going after the colony ships. Those people don't stand a chance unless we stop it. Oh, it's just going. It's just two carriers. Yes, it's okay. Indeed. The one, the one That's strength that these. Uh, these guys have is they are very good against armored units. So if we just keep our distance, because they have eight, eight, range eight, we have range ten. So this just requires a little bit of micro. I just get completely smoked. Thanks, Rainers Raiders. We're getting out of here. Yeah, you do that. Additional supply. Oh shit. The colonists have evacuated the first settlement in the purifier's path. Yes, please like. Okay. Left some resources behind after they evacuated. We should pick them up. All done. No one lives and now we have enough to go build some more stuff. Let's do that right now. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah just gotta watch this. They attack at random intervals. Well, not random. It's not that random, but you know. You know what I'm saying. They attack, basically, and it's not good. Ah, uh, fuck Void Rays. Four hits Void Rays. <laughs> good thing they aren't charged up. That would be a very serious problem if that were the case. Alright, keep pumping up more guys. And computers still lagging. I'm not sure, it doesn't always do that, obviously. You guys watch many things I've done. It just randomly decides to do it. I have a bad hard drive recording where I'm recording stuff too. Which is the more likely cause of this. Alright, let's go pump get all these guys out so we can uh heal them up. There you go. And get some armor. Uh I guess I'll get another guy dedicated to doing that. Oh that's right, we have we have like another thing for resources. Not enough minerals. Alright, well, we'll go over here and we'll start We'll start on this base, although it will take slightly longer. Uh, 
so we just have to be careful, but we the want to do it as soon as possible. Another settlement, sir. Oh God, no! Anything but that. Fight or flight? Yeah. yeah. Like Alright, take out this one. Right. Let's go up here and we'll just, uh, I think there's a Colossus behind here. Yeah. Alright, I'm hoping I took out him for the most part. Alright, let's keep pumping out Vikings. There we go. Oh, we don't have enough guys on gas. And another one. And build some more things. We don't even have to finish this off. We're just like, as soon as we destroy it, just, just run run away. Like like jerks. What's going on? Another Nexus gone. Great work. Don't give them a chance to regroup. Energy output is peaking. The Protoss are going to destroy the second colony base. I'm not sure why they warned me. I mean, like, I've clearly already done it. Like, they're, they're done. They're not doing anything. <laughs> Alright, well, whatever. I should do infantry weapons, too. Eh, probably another supply depot here. You're the boss. Good job. Okay, now they're making more stuff. And this is the next one on their target list. Don't worry, those, those colony ships are really beefy. Like, 9,000 HP. Protoss squadron detected approaching colonist settlement. I like it. Warning, Terran's going to kick your ass. Agreed. Agreed. Didn't chance. That was a close one. <laughs> yeah, so close. The colonists have successfully evacuated that settlement. Surprise. And we get more monies. No one I love Vikings. They're just so damn good. There's really no, there's really no complaining about what they, what they're kind of capable of. All right, we need more supply depots. Not enough minerals. And we're pretty, we're pretty good for everything else. They didn't even touch us. Oh god, you slowly moving thing. Why would you attack the medics? You dumb. He can't decide. Ooh, it's hilarious. The zealot was just like derping. Oh man. Not enough minerals. And this is why you get not the two starports. There's just no reason not to. Especially since you can get like a really high output of uh, the amount of units you can get. Oh. Oh, we need to take care of that bunker right now. Why, how did it take so much damage? Damn. I'm gonna blame that on carriers being overpowered and needing a nerf. Nah. No. I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't really care much for balance changes. Alright, and we're done basically all the upgrades we want. I don't really care about turn armor. The next base. Hurry. Hurry what? There's nothing there. Fuck. Lady, jeez. Not enough minerals. You want, you want me to defend your your unoccupied base? So you're asking a little minerals. much, and I don't think I have enough SCVs actually. Okay, right. you folks head up right up back, back here, and Not I want another minerals. supply depot. Sure you ready for war? Oh wait, I should have taken out the no other base. Oh fuck! I, I've been spending all my time here. Inbound, ready to plunder. Not enough minerals. Oh yeah, I might as well get them while, while they're while they're on route. Certainly. Ah, right, come on. He's, he's gonna send a couple more little units, Not enough little minerals. toys, to come after me. Not enough minerals. They'll fire on the settlement any second now. Get clear. Hey, <sighs> no, no, no. This is why I don't want to save her. Besides, Protoss are bros. It's bros before hoes, man. Ready to fight or fight. Yeah, I don't right. want to kill the Protoss. My friends. Hanson is just someone I met on some planet one day. One day. Never actually meant anything. Alright, we're gonna to need one more supply depot. 
made for you ready for war yeah we know you're doing that SCV ready. warning Rotar squadron detected approaching the final call of settlement oh wow that's so much rape thank you those protoss almost got us <laughs> they didn't even get fucking close to you that settlement have been evacuated <laughs> I love that they almost got us thanks a lot buddy yeah, that's a lot of hallucinations. Let me just make sure that they're... It's like, the guy's like massing carriers. Alright. Let's just get rid of those guys. Now, unfortunately, there's a guy over here, which annoys the fuck out of me. In back, fight or fight. Yeah, right. Okay, we'll just go land here, and let me make sure I take all the rest of this. Alright, and we'll just make a bunch more Vikings. Agreed. There he is. Run. He's got one more storm in him. There you go. That's it. No more storm from him. And we'll just get that carrier. I'm pretty sure it's not a... Whatever it is. Stupid ass guy. And then we're done. The purifier is going to be vulnerable. Alright, let's get out. And you should probably get out of there too. And purifier is vulnerable. shields are offline, sir. Hit it now. Yeah, thank you. I know. I know, Not Matt. Don't worry. Minerals. I don't know how he got so much minerals. Jeez. Estimate Protoss arrival at the next colony base within 20 seconds, sir. Hear me. He makes it sound so serious, but it's really not. They're coming to the base. Oh no. How will we possibly kick their ass with 1,000 Vikings? Transformation systems primed. Fight or flight. The only thing is when he spawns a bunch of carriers and stuff, but you know, that's, that's always fun. Generally it's just best not to let him attack anything. And micro like a king. It's when I admittedly had trouble my first time around. Uh, but I won with like two vikings. I probably shouldn't be here, though. But I'm gonna go here anyways. Purifier sent our units into a dimensional warp field. Yeah, I see the it. The effect should only be temporary, though. We've got to stop that purifier. Just, I just bring them all in. Uh, hopefully, they won't burn when they come out. The reason I'm going up here is so he can't attack me. Well, the stalkers are gonna have trouble attacking me. I'm trying to just get that guy. There you go. And now it's only the, that guy who can attack me now. Okay. Well, you know, go Marines. Actually, we got, let's get Marauders here. Not like we need them. Go, go, go. We win. Are retreating. You've done it. Is that an orange carrier? Why is it orange? I guess it's you are as cunning as the stories say, James Raynor. I hope your belief in these colonists will be vindicated. Sure, it will be. Okay, um, that's it. Simple, simple, simple. Colony output sa outpost saved. Save three colony. Why didn't I? How, can, how didn't I save them though? I guess you. I guess you just do it really, really fast. Whatever. Did it good enough? Yeah, that's right. You have to. You have to attack it before. But it's it's simpler on normal because you don't need as many Vikings. I remember now. Sorry, I just I forgot. So I 
guess this is goodbye, Doc. Now you've got a lot of cleaning up to do out there. We'll manage somehow. I just hope you boys stay out of trouble. Those Protoss are bound to be upset. Well, me and the Protoss go way back. I've helped them out a few times. Figure they might cut me some slack. You know, you could always stay here. Settle down, make a new start. <laughs> Guys like me don't get second chances, darling. We just gotta finish what we begun. You're a good man, Jim Rayner. <laughs> I ain't that good. And that is essentially <laughs> the technically the good ending. Um, I didn't do that ending when I first played through this. Uh, I I chose the bad one. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna talk to everybody and then. Uh, um, that's pretty much it, I guess. Damn shame Doc Hansen stayed behind. She was just about to fall for my roguish charms too. You ain't gonna tell me you were just a little bit tempted to stay with her, are you? I've been down that road before, Tychus. I took my shot at a normal life a long time ago. Ain't no going back now. <laughs> Couple of badasses like us ain't cut out for the quiet life anyway. Yes, sir. Destiny's got us pegged for something way bigger. Welcome back. We've got good and bad news tonight from our UNN headquarters on Korhal. The influx of refugees has dropped as various fringe worlders have found new planets on which to settle. For the bad news, let's go to Kate Lockwell. Kate? What? Is, is, is the feed open? Hi. Uh, yes. Hi, Donnie. Well, many of the refugees are starting new colonies, and they've declared themselves independent of the Dominion. Branding themselves as rebels. Well, Donnie, they mostly seem like regular folks who are scared about the current crisis and angry that the Dominion didn't do more to save them. Some of them have praised Jim You Ray heard it here first. Ungrateful rebels digging in their heels across the fringe worlds. For UNN, I'm Donnie Vermillion. Did he warn me when he's gonna do that? Funny how people take it personal <laughs> when you abandon them to the Zerg. Oh yeah. Uh, so you get the new mercs. So I'm not gonna deal with that right now, though. Let's see if I got anything new. I think it's the same thing. Why does it always tell me? Uh, oh, I guess it tells you a little more every time. Sir, you should check out the research console. There's some. Ex no, we're not. We're not gonna do that. Man, did you see the size of that Protoss ship? No matter how often I see them, those guys always come out with something that makes your jaw drop. You know what I'm saying? I'd be more impressed if they were using all that power against the Zerg. It's stupid to be killing Protoss when we should be teaming up with them against Kerrigan. Listen, they deserved it, and you did the right thing. Friends don't let friends massacre civilians, Jim. I'm proud of you for standing up to them. Okay, and... Oh, Viking. Let's actually look at that. Viking's just sick. Huh. Viking pilot is a cherry until he's been inside. The one during transfer uh, <laughs> transformation. The twisting, the twisting metal can kill less agile men. The elite few who made it through training are so deadly that their names are well known by both allies and enemies across the sector. Huh. Viking servos are interchangeable. SCVs can scavenge a, a Viking's arm to repair the more important leg assembly. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. Yeah, but Vikings are pretty crazy, crazy, crazy. Better future. Let's hope that's what Ariel's people find on Haven. Home sweet home. 
Okay, I'm not going to the armory or research or anything because that's not the route I'm taking, as I said earlier. Uh, so I decided just to show you what all everybody says. And so the next one is going to be uh, what is actually kind of like what I do. So stay tuned for the next part.